in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Celebrate the best worship team in this side of God's kingdom. Come on now. They deserve it. Great people. Hallelujah. Joshua 14. I trust that the Lord will bless you away tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joshua 14, are you there? I'll begin my reading from verse 6. Father, let your word bless your people tonight. In Jesus' name. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said unto him thou knowest the thing that the lord said unto moses the man of god concerning me and thee in kadesh Barnea. 40 years old was i when moses the servant of the lord sent me to spy out the land and i brought him word again as it was in my heart nevertheless my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt but I wholly followed the Lord my God. Take note. I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine in inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed my God. Take note. All of these things, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these 40 and 5 years, even since the Lord spoke this word to Moses. What a long time. While the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now, lo, I am this day, first call, and 5 years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. And my strength, and as my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For war, both to go out and to come in. Ready? Verse 12. Stop. He said, Now therefore, give me this mountain. Wherefore the Lord speak in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims, the giants were there and that the cities were a great land 
and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord has said. Next verse. For an inheritance. Let me finish it up. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, because you will bless your word. I'm preaching a very powerful message tonight that I trust will challenge us. Hallelujah. Give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. Even if you don't understand it yet, you will understand at the end of the teaching. So say, give me this mountain. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to unveil to you the spiritual dimension of success. The spiritual component of success. Say it one more time. Give me this mountain. Some of you, God will answer this prayer because you mean it from your heart. One more time, say, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Now, if you've been following our teachings on the kingdom, the Bible says how that at a certain time, Joshua and Caleb were sent to a spies to spy the land of Canaan and its environs. And the Bible says they came back. A few of them came, two of them really, with very good news. They said, we saw giants, we saw different people, but the land was flowing with milk and honey. Let's go up at once. And others, their hearts melted. And on account of his courage, Moses promised him that when the time of apportioning the land comes, that land that he saw and believed would be his inheritance, he should be given. And so when the time came, he reminded Joshua. He said, Joshua, remember, over 40 years ago, when the hearts of many were failing, I said I was able to take on this mountain. Now is the time. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. There are seven mountains that have been responsible for human influence on the earth. We've talked about this, but let's do a quick revision. Please write seven mountains number one family this is where the foundation of every life is built or destroyed the family this is where values are inculcated hallelujah number two education this is where truth or error is built this is the place of molding. This is where people get mindsets. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For an average of 18 to 20 years, the average Nigerian spends that time at least educating himself. A great mountain. Great sphere of influence. Number three. The media. The media has an enormous influence. The largest gathering in any single meeting has been over two or three million. That was in a Benihin crusade, the largest recorded gathering of human beings. A total of six million within three days. But you can reach a total viewing audience of over 100 million within five minutes. The media, mind control systems. Ready for the next one? arts and entertainment this mountain has a great influence defines many things to us what we call failure that's number what number five politics and governance this is where legislations are made for or against the kingdom hallelujah if abortion is legalized somebody passed it into law 
If God is exalted in a nation, somebody passes it into law. Politics and governance. Very, 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 very important. Hallelujah. Number six. Who can remember the sixth one? Huh? Sport is part of art and entertainment. Religion. Almost everybody is following somebody. Whether they are right or wrong, they are just following somebody. Hallelujah. Go and type wall religion and see how many followers. Religion is a powerful system. People have died for it. Hallelujah. People have gotten PhD and died the next day for a cause they believe was worth dying for. And the last one, the economy or the business world, if you want to put it that way. Seven mountains that shape and mold human existence. Now, please listen. This is very important. Because when we talk of advancing the kingdom, it must be structural and definite. Hallelujah. What we have been taught in the body is just do evangelism and bless souls. But when we talk about advancing the kingdom, it's important for us to understand the spheres of influence. Hallelujah. Every degree of influence on earth today is through the seventh one, the economy. Hallelujah. Is that true? The family is a major issue. Whatever goes wrong in the family affects society. Hallelujah. Education. Whatever they teach you is what you will stand for, work for, and be paid for. The media. It's amazing how that in five minutes you can receive a news, whether true or false. Hallelujah. Remember that issue of that, that man, that ogre of the top, ogre at the top issue. Even people in the village got to hear that news. The media. Acts and entertainment. They have informed everything that we do practically. Everybody wants to become like a, that's where success is displayed using different parameters. That's where you see sports celebrities. When anyone makes it, they get there to show you so that you will model their lives. Very important. Number five, politics and governance. Hallelujah. You can have money, but if they don't give you land, you won't build. Is that correct? They can legislate a law in five minutes that will literally crumble the advancement of the kingdom of God. Like many ministers who are caught and jailed and killed in many nations. It is because some people sat down in the parliament to legislate. Is that true? Number six, religion. It's done probably the biggest harm to mankind. Everybody believes in the existence of something bigger than himself. Whether he can be humble enough to accept it or not. Religion. And finally, the economy. The interesting thing about the economy is that it fuels every other mountain. Hallelujah. The Bible says money is the root of all evil. What does that mean? The root of any tree is where the tree gets its nourishment. Hallelujah. Seven mountains. Say, give me this mountain. Say one more time, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. And I have studied for quite some time uh, seeking from God's word to find out how to strategically advance the kingdom of God and to be able to define success. Please listen to me. All of these mountains have been able to define success to people. There are certain things that society have told us that you must do 
in the family to be considered successful as a family man. Same thing for education. Same thing for media. But right now with the lens of God's word, it's important for believers to begin to scrutinize the things that we have upheld defined as success. Hallelujah. For some of us, success is when you get rich, you have a car, you travel abroad, go to Dubai, Hawaii, and so on and so forth. When you build a house, for some of us, success is when you build an orphanage. All of these informations that we have about success were given to us through one or more of these structures. Is that true? But tonight we are going to examine God's word. While the mountains and the spheres of influence were being apportioned to people, Caleb said, this is the one I want. Give me this mountain. I can take it. I want to show you the spiritual dimension of success. The second thing I want you to know tonight is that every of these mountains are controlled by spirits. Hmm. Did you hear what I said? Every one of these mountains are controlled by spirits. Caleb said, in that land there were certain gigantic superhuman figures called anakims waiting for anybody who would dare to step into any of those fields can i tell you something listen if you get what i'm teaching you tonight you will accelerate your success in life that any one of these fair you choose to go there are spiritual entities keepers of the gates of these fairs hallelujah that dare to wait for any man. I have studied successful people both in the world and in the church. And I like studying their ideologies to find out what informed their mindsets. And I watched an interview that was conducted for Bill Gates. Again, the richest man now. Hallelujah. And they asked him, what is the secret of your success? And he said something that disturbed me. You know what he said? He said, I was at the right place at the right time. That's a scary statement. He said, and in that right place, many people had what I had. How can this be the secret of a man's success? I was at the right place at the right time. When they gave us a certain information, many people had it just like I did. But I was the one who took action. This is what he told us the secret of his success is. Now before you get me wrong, Bill Gates is a very hard working man. Some of you say, hey, hey I know, uh-uh. They are the places of principles. But I want you to understand that there is the spiritual dimension. Everybody says spiritual dimension. If you do not understand this, you will be cheated grossly in life. Every one of these mountains have spiritual entities. Hallelujah. God appointed Daniel and God was going to send him to one of these mountains of politics and governance. And the Bible said, paraphrasing now, how that Daniel understood the spiritual component of success and he was always praying. From his secret place, he was disturbing certain people. Hallelujah. All that they were concerned about was his prayer life. And they started finding ways. They said, King, can you pass a law just on somebody's prayer life? Because there were some, there's something called the gods of the Medians and the Persians. Say, so who is this guy? Every time we look across this fair, there's somebody defy. Are you learning something? One of the things that many people, especially young people, do not know is that spiritual. Help me, please. 
Either this or another man. Everybody say after me, success is. Hallelujah. My friend TK is here. He's a graduate of Lagos Business School. Hallelujah. He just returned. You ask him from a spiritual perspective, he can tell you. There is no man who is extremely successful in any sphere of life that has not bowed down to something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let anybody fool you, brothers and sisters. In the days of Elijah, there were certain prophets who were taking over the mountain of religion and they were enjoying. Is that true? The Bible calls them prophets of... He didn't call them prophets. He called them prophets of who? Who is Baal? Prophets of Baal. They enjoyed their time during that dispensation because there was a goddess called Jezebel that was married to the man who sat at the seat of governance. Listen to me. I want to shorten your journey in life to achieving lasting and true success. Hallelujah. And this woman, the Bible tells us that she was the one who was overseeing those prophets. Is that true? How can a woman, they were, they were called prophets of Baal, but why did they submit to her? Jezebel. Anything that touched those prophets, she knew it from the secret place. Nobody went to tell her it was Elijah that caused trouble. Immediately Elijah caused trouble. She sent people from her palace. She said, look for this man and kill him. Are, are, you, are you getting something tonight? Every one of this mountain has spiritual entities because Satan is called the God of this world. And Satan has strategically, he understands that whoever takes this mountain, whoever exerts any degree of influence upon this mountain will change the course of history, whether for or against God. Are you listening to me? And Caleb said, I know that there have been certain people in that mountain, but give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. How many of you believe what I'm teaching tonight? Because you see, a, a lot of us believe that you just get up and just walk into these mountains and just become a CEO of a company. You think so? Go and find out how many politicians do not sleep because they have to keep revisiting altars and diabolical things. Already 2015 is already being prepared. Is that true? There are... How come we have believers who have not been trained to understand times and seasons? I want to show you the spiritual dimension of success. We have studied a lot of principles, but I need you to know this is what many young people do not know in Nigeria. They graduate with joy and excitement and enter the labor market and they are keepers of the gates. They say, no way, it doesn't happen like that. Hmm. Suddenly you see somebody leaves people for a while. The next thing he steps and every gate is opening up to him. No, something happened. Did you hear what I said? Something what? Somebody gets up. The next thing he's controlling the arts and the entertainment. Flawlessly. People are buying his tapes, buying everything. And you listen to it, there's nothing that edifies you, whether socially or spiritually. But you wouldn't know what would take you. Say, give me this mountain. The Bible says, listen, it says the sons of this world are wiser. Paraphrasing. Wiser. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Wake up. Grow up. The earth is more rude than you have been taught in the media. There is a fierce contention of light and darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is a paradigm that many people are not taught. They just say, oh, don't worry. 
Just build yourself and see how you will ride gloriously into this mountain. Hmm. Keep us at the gate. When Jesus was taken on this mountain of religion to open it up, he was coming out of the grave and this keeper said, who is this that wants to come out? He said, lift up your heads, O ye. The gates were people because they responded. They said, there is no man that has gone out of this realm and brought himself back except somebody in that realm calls him. But Jesus died and wanted to bring himself. They say, uh uh, it doesn't happen that way. We are keepers of the gate. He said, I'm being lifted ancient doors. What kind of doors? Why didn't he just say doors? They have been there. Ancient doors. He said, Somebody wants to enter and prove a point in this mountain that the earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. And the gates answered. They said, Interesting. So, we know many people, but who is this guy called the king of glory? He needed a reintroduction. What makes you believe? Listen. The moment John was born, the spirit of the Antichrist began to move in the scribes. They said, are you the one we are expecting? Because the gates have been informed that somebody will come in a time and wreak havoc. So they kept searching. They thought it was John the Baptist. That's why they caught him. The moment Jesus announced, behold the Lamb of God, that was it. He said, make sure this guy dies. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the King. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the King. The labor market in Nigeria are governed by spirits. Did you hear what I'm saying? There is no reason why we should have so many people jobless. They are governed by wicked spirits. I've had the opportunity to meet a few successful people and I can tell you their success is irritating. I don't envy it forever. Let me tell you something. It's not like you cannot enter but they will give you the condition for entering. Are you getting me? When these gates stop you, the first question they ask you is where is your allegiance? Because nobody enters here for nothing. No. Who are you representing? Who sent you? You want to build a bank. You want to own a bank. They will ask you. Who sent you? Whose cause are you representing? You want to come out as a man of God. And be great. And build a big ministry. They will ask you. Kale katabaka proskataya. And then they will give you an option. They'll say, here it is. is. There is a way we can negotiate. This is what Satan came to do to Jesus Christ. He said, I know that these are the keys you came to collect. So let's negotiate. If you bow to me, I will ease this journey. Say, give me this mountain. When Jesus was born, the signal got to Herod immediately. Immediately. Gates, ancient doors that really govern what we call success. Satan is not a fool. He was once in heaven. He has positioned strategically. America is considered a successful nation. They are in debt of 17 trillion US dollars. You know how many generations it will take to pay? Because the devil orchestrated it intelligently to mortgage the destiny of the generations after them. A time will come it will hook them. And when it hooks them, mammon will call them for negotiation. And they must negotiate.
Who are these kind of people who want to take these mountains? They will ask you, where are you coming from? Say, I'm a graduate of ABU. They say, so what? Go and ask how many people have come to this gate are reversed. Sometimes you want to use force and you sustain casualties. Tonight, I want to show you if you understand this singular teaching, you will gain accurate explanation to what is happening in this country. What Satan is seeking, listen, the youth is the fruitful part of the nation. Is that true? They are the fruitful part. Satan knows what they want. Satan knows that every young man that graduates, every young man that gets married is looking for certain things, establishment and the rest. And he said, close those doors so that when they are pressured, they will come back for negotiation. And that's what is happening. Is that true? Mysterious success and wealth that cannot be explained. Any man just travels and comes back smiling. He cannot even explain what happened. All he, that's why when he hears you talking business principles and titans, he says, ah, that's your cup of tea. He says, look at these suffered people. Hallelujah. Is that true? That's why there are certain rich people that don't bless. They can't bless, not even their wives. It's not that they are greedy. They bow to something. This is the condition for it. Other people, a man cannot sleep with his wife. Certain conditions are given. There are people who, listen, let me tell you something. I met a man. I met a man, maybe early this year, in Abuja or so, and he actually came out of one devilish, dirty business sect and all of that. And he said something. He said, they are only allowed to do any business transactions on Mondays and on Fridays. It's happening in your country. You will be surprised if I tell you those who are involved in this. Only when? Very busy people, but they are so free throughout the day. You break that rule, you pay for it. Hallelujah. And they called him somewhere. He was supposed to do a business something with somebody. And when he went there, they called him by 10 a.m. Pastor. He went and sat down in the parlor. Nobody attended to him till about 7 or so in the morning. They just left him there. Say, Ogado, oh you better let your eyes not sleep. Warn your eyes to stay awake. Hmm. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the King. Satan wants a situation where everyone in the next few years who will stand in this mountain must be people who are bowed to him. And so godlessness, the, these are the mountains that will rebuild the tower of Babel. Are you listening to me? But the Bible says, Obadiah 21, saviors shall arise out of another mountain called Zion. And they will judge the mountain of Esau. What is it about these mountains? Hmm. Saviors shall arise. Because you see, when the prophets of Baal were bowing down, little did they know that there were 7,000 others under the custody of Obadiah. They were being prepared to contend. And one day, Elijah said, come on, there's no hiding. Let's climb the mountain and deal with this issue. If God be God, the God that answers by fire, I say is God. He said, Baal, we are on a mountain now. Are you learning something? Let me tell you. If all, I'm, I'm not talking about 10,000 naira as a teacher or something. Just one small room for you and your... Or if that's what you want, nobody will contend with you. Just get it. You can sell the charge card and get it. But there is a level. It's like there is a spiritual meter. The moment you rise, they say, uh -uh, no way, it doesn't happen this way. But the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit. 
Hallelujah. Many of our loved ones are applying job to job to job to job to job with every kind of qualification. Nothing is happening. There are many people who have tried everything they know to do, every principle. But it's because they do not understand the spirituality of life. That's why wealthy and successful people don't have many friends. They only have their kinds of circles. You can't talk with them. You can't relate. Your vocabulary is not their vocabulary. One more time. Say, give me this mountain. This is what is happening in Abuja. There are altars and sacrifices serviced every day. Every day for the success of people. But we have many believers who just get up and we just mumble a few confessions and we run and we believe we are coming to enter this mountain and the gate say, you think so? Even Jesus, they ask him a question first before allowing him to enter. Hallelujah. You're ready with the documentary? You watch a documentary now for five minutes. Just five minutes that will challenge you. Hallelujah. Please make sure those outside have it too. Five minutes. Hallelujah. As I began to study these things, I found out that I was not alone in this pursuit. There were so many people that God had revealed this thing to. Hallelujah. Is the volume okay? Just take your time, set it, and then play. It was August 1975, and the Lord had given me that day a list of things that I had never thought about before. He said, this is the way to reach America and nations for God. In every city of the world, an unseen battle rages for dominion over God's creation and the souls of people. This battle is fought on seven strategic fronts, looming like mountains over the culture to shape and influence its destiny. Over the years, the church slowly retreated from its place of influence on these mountains, leaving a void now filled with darkness. When we lose our influence, we lose the culture, and when we lose the culture, we fail to advance the kingdom of God. And now, a generation stands in desperate need. It's time to fight for them and take back these mountains of influence. The mountain of government. Where evil is either restrained or endorsed. The mountain of education. Where truths or lies about God and his creation are taught. The mountain of media. Where information is interpreted through the lens of good or evil. The mountain of arts and entertainment, where values and virtue are celebrated or distorted. The mountain of religion, where people worship God in spirit and truth, or settle for a religious ritual. The mountain of family, where either the blessing or a curse is passed on to successive generations. And the one mountain they all depend on, the mountain that fuels and funds all the other mountains, the mountain of business, where people build for the glory of God or the glory of man, where resources are consecrated for the kingdom of God or captured for the powers of darkness. Those who lead this mountain control what influences our culture. The last 50 years, we've seen the most rapid moral decline in history. The culture we inherited from our forefathers is disintegrating before our eyes. What kind of world are we leaving for our children and grandchildren? As long as the business mountain is held by enemies of the gospel, funding for the other mountains will always be constrained, and any efforts to advance the kingdom of God will be hindered. Imagine God's people reclaiming their cities in government, in the arts and entertainment, in the media, in education, in the family, in religious influence, but only limited by their imagination and not by a lack of finances. It's possible, but first, we must take back the mountain of business. God's move to take this mountain back has already begun. Thousands and thousands of business leaders in every major city across the nation 
are filling arenas to learn from business leaders and hear the gospel of Christ. 90% of people working in the marketplace believe in God. 78% believe spirituality and business mix. 70% say that because of their faith, they find meaning and purpose in life. There are over 56 million Bible-believing Christians working in the marketplace. A vast army of God waiting to be truly engaged in the battle. Yet this strategic army and battlefront has largely been left ignored by the church. More than 90% of church members do not feel they are being equipped or trained by the church to apply biblical faith in their day-to-day -day life. The business mountain is so strategic because that is the place of influence. When you look at culture, so much of culture is defined by what happens in business. If we would use the wealth of the world to bless the world, and bless it not only to distribute to the needy that which they need. When you bring economy and economic benefit to a nation or a culture, uh, then you have influence in that culture. People, as they're transformed, who will transform all the spheres of society. It is time to reclaim the seven mountains and bring the life of God back into our culture. Hallelujah. Right, praise God. Let's continue. Were you blessed? Seven mountains. Powerful. Hallelujah. So there is a spiritual conspiracy. Hallelujah. To rob believers of meaning and fulfillment in their lives. And listen. For as long as all that we preachers keep teaching people is do your quiet time, be nice, get up, be happy. A time will come there will be more trouble than the people can handle. Because very soon they will find out they need to get married. They will find out they need to take care of children. Is that true? They will find out they need to get a job. They will find out they need to at least build a house where they will put their heads under. And then that's where the trouble begins. Say one more time, give me this mountain. If the youth in Nigeria do not understand the spiritual dimension of success listen to me i am telling you there is going to be big trouble in this country the media did a documentary for us one time and you saw how that less than 10 percent of people who ever graduate in the university ever get the opportunity to be absorbed in the labor market this is scary I was talking with someone and he told me something. He said over 75% of the jobs in this country cannot secure the people who are working. You know what they call job security? That you can guarantee. In fact, the person was telling me that there are only four jobs based on his analysis that he can call secure jobs. Lecturing, military, and I, I can't remember the other two that he gave. Anything teaching or military and then farming. You are working in farming or any farming institute or something. Go and ask the average graduate who is working. Say, what is the name of where you are working? Say, I don't even know. It's just there after three months. Say, what happened to that job? He said, oh, the person and the job, nobody even knew what was happening. So this concerns you. Because many of us are just happy. You have applied all the principles. And there is a place for that we've taught. But I want you to know that until you compel these spiritual entities to bow, there must be a higher operation of the spirit. This is what will grant you access to enter and not only reign, but not, not reclaim as dethrone everybody, but give God space in that mountain to begin to find expression. Are you getting blessed? One more time, say, give me this mountain. The journey of success in the kingdom 
begins with defining your purpose for success and your allegiance to God. This is very important. The Bible says Moses kept, I mean Joshua kept saying Caleb will get this mountain because he wholly followed the Lord. There must be a basis for these mountains to open up for you. I want to ask you a question tonight. What is your, what, why do you want to be successful? Why do you want to be prosperous? If, if the circumference of your desire for prosperity is so that you can have enough money to marry or feed your children or do all of this, that mountain will not open up for you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Your allegiance must be defined I was listening to a woman of God. She was talking and she said that a particular governor's wife went and met a very wealthy business mogul in this country to just talk to him and ask for an assistance and something for the church. And he laughed and looked at her. He said, it should never be hard that I will ever do anything to support the church. He said, it should never, 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 never. It cannot be hard. Believe us. Open your eyes and see that there is a conspiracy behind the scene. And this conspiracy did not just start. When they started it decades ago, it looked like an impossible mission. But Satan is very patient. It's believers that are impatient. Satan kept allowing one generation to die. The ones who would preserve this truth to die. Now we are the generation in between. We will either give up and lose all on it. Or stand and say, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I foresee that in the next five to ten years in this country, nobody will, who, the, the spirituality of wealth had never been a mystery. Go and ask the Freemasons and the Illuminatis. They've known this for years. Hallelujah. People make money off war that happens in this country. For every time there is bomb blast, somebody is making money. This is somebody's business. You think he will stop? For as long as there is no electricity in this country, somebody's business is blossoming. You believe the person will sit down and allow laws that will support it to be legislated? Say one more time, give me this mountain. Wake up. Don't let people fool you. Take responsibility over your destiny and walk to God and say, Lord, I declare my allegiance. This is our concentration this night. We are not really talking about principles. I want to bring you to a point where the ultimate test of your success in life will be a clear definition of whose side you are standing. If that question is not answered, forget about success. Did you hear what I said? I am telling you this. Whether success in family, in education, whatever it is, the world is becoming fierce and unfriendly by the day. And you will need to define who are you in fraternity with. There is no issue of standing here or there. No, no. As you rise in success, the, the place that you are standing becomes more defined. Beyond your adherence to principles, you will need to stand and define it before God and before men that this is my agenda. I am a kingdom addict out to support the cause of the kingdom. There is no pretending it. There is no being diplomatic about it. This is where I stand. When that happens, God that you have declared to will be the ones to compel these forces to bow. Are you listening to me? This is very important. That's why there are certain people, some of you, when your loved ones begin to rise to certain levels, the enemy just takes them away, out of the scene. And the whole family returns back to square one. Another person tries to rise, they just take them away. They say it doesn't happen that way. We have been the ones governing blessings and wealth in this village or in this place. Now you didn't grow up in the village, you grew up in the town. You watch CNN, Cartoon Network. And you suddenly believe that Cartoon Network has wiped them away. They are saying, we are still here. That's why those guys don't die in the village. People don't die anyhow. They live old. They say, I'm watching. 
90 years, I'm still strong. No glasses, I'm watching. Hallelujah. Give me this mountain. You must make up your mind that right now you will define your allegiance. Prosperity will never come to you until you do not, until you define for what cause is going to be used. Without ambiguity, there must be clarity. And you're going to say, Lord, this is for your kingdom. This is why we train and build people in the world every time. This issue of hiding things, I am telling you the truth. Do you know every time I get to meet people, pastor, people I used to know years ago, Abuja and around, once you see them, you see that there is, there is a disappointment in God. It's as if, God, what did you do? I served you. I served you. I was fellowship president. I was this and that. This is not fair. A lot of people go to God and say, God, this is not fair. But I need you to know, you can sit down and call God fair or not. If you do not rise up to realize that life in its entirety is spiritual. Success in its entirety is spiritual. You start spiritually, it is maintained spiritually, you will end it spiritually. If you can get this revelation, I've saved you frustration of decades. Hallelujah. Caleb saw giants, yet he didn't even talk about them. He said, Joshua, you just give me. If God will be with me, these giants are a simple case. There are many of us right now. You're going to be released to the labor market. Many of you are happy. Believing it is through your uncle or your auntie. Or through one connection. Let me tell you early enough. Stop wasting your time. Because if you do get that job. You will find out that it's easier to get a job than to stay there. When you enter there. You will find out that there is a war that has been going on. Just like our brother came to share. That a woman just looked at him and didn't like him. Welcome to the root shock of this system. This is how it works. It's not strange. It's not like she victimized him. It's how Satan designed the system to work. And then one day you announce that you are going to build a secondary school in your community. And you say everybody just come to laugh. And they go back. And sit on their mountains and say alright. You build the school. You know, see, believers, let me tell you something. If you do not understand, or you just get up and say, ah, I want to get married. You just see a lady and say, you want to get married. Marry. As you finish the marriage, you will suddenly find out that your whole life and the marriage has lost life. To an extent, you will be begging 10,000 for school fees. What is happening? Everybody say, give me this mountain. These are mind control systems. What is, what is the aim of Satan putting gates in these places? To make sure that God's value system and the advancement of the kingdom bringing many to righteousness. That means you cannot do business till you play crooks and pranks. Is that true? And now that's the order of the day. It has a name. What do we call it? Corruption. Is that true? A lady cannot get a job with the dignity of kingdom integrity until she sleeps with somebody. It's not about sexual pleasure. Brothers and sisters, there are prostitutes around. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's about causing the Zion of God to compromise. Praise God. Hmm. And then you get up and say, God is leading me to be the chairman of a local government or to be a governor. And you just get up and stroll. You see us pray. You are just laughing and say, these people, the wisdom that I have, really. You will see the seats like this. Go and sit down. You will be able to see it. It's free. Go and sit down. The Bible says, and he has been exalted above every other name, whether they be thrones or dominions or every name that is named. Not just in this realm. There are human beings that travel to astral realms. I told you this thing when we were talking about, what were we talking about? I cannot remember. I told you about the UFOs or this. I have a documentary in my laptop. 
of excavators that were digging into the earth and they found out that there was a 13 story building they found somewhere 13 story building beyond, beyond this earth occupied by aliens the aliens killed one of the people just touched his heart and see let me tell you i'm opening you up to something you may learn when you are 50 years old when life has whipped you and you are saying half that's how many what jubilee now 50 is what golden jubilee you now say god what is this many of our parents know this thing that's why they are quiet when they see us just jumping i must get there they just keep quiet they say you don't know what i've been through i had zeal some of them were planning to work in railway corporation they were happy they had people to connect them believers hear me there is a spiritual dimension to life these gates are occupied by wicked spirits with one primary agenda to compel men to bow to Baal, to bow to the spirits that are responsible for these gates when you bow it will open up to you the day you stop bowing it will check you out it doesn't matter what level are you hearing what i'm saying that's why wealthy people are more concerned in maintaining their altars than doing business let me tell you the truth you don't see them they hire people there are all kinds of occultic groups and organizations in this country that have a lot of people belonging that's what has been responsible for their success but hear me there is a kind of people arising are you hearing what i'm saying there is an uncompromising army arising the bible says it does not yet appear what we shall be like we have been staring at these mountains and they've been staring at us but tonight you will need to say give me this mountain i can take it i can take this mountain without compromising i can stand hallelujah you can take the mountain of media you can take the mountain of everything where you will know anywhere you are you know that god is there you are not pretending it you know there is this ugly thing that believers do in the name of socialization they are afraid to stand ruthlessly for god because they suspect god may fail them so they say let's keep one leg here god has been used to disappointing people in case if it doesn't work i quickly move my leg and i say i was not there in the first place hallelujah but let me tell you if god is to bless you you must be uncompromising wealth is spiritual are you hearing what i'm saying wealth is what spiritual oh i i shared with the leader something maybe if we have time we'll look at it before we pray there are some things that are not found in the earth realm are you hearing me there is a kind of wisdom that produces success the bible says job speaking he said we went to hades where dead people are and said they said we have heard of his fame but we don't know where it is he went to the mountains where people excavate rocks and the rest and they said we've not heard of it he said it is not within the sight of the living there are certain dimensions of success that is not in the earth realm are you hearing what i'm saying you manifest it in the earth realm but you don't get it here it's not a commodity that can be transacted here uh -uh. you must leave this earth realm and get it from another realm then you will come back and transact it i show you a mystery let me share with you a personal testimony of something that happened to me one time i was praying and when i was praying please listen i was praying and i began to sense an unusual presence it was like my spirit was leaving my body and when i was praying suddenly watch this i saw a being just stood maybe maybe about 18 to 21 feet tall listen to me are you listening to me a mighty it looked like these sea creatures these antelopes or not you know these big sea creatures the eyes alone as are bigger than the head of a man two red fierce eyes and the tail was a serpent a real snake 
I don't know how that kind of creature was. And he was looking at me. I was looking at it. This is not some metaphysical jargons. I was looking at it. And it was looking at me. Hallelujah. And you know what he told me? You want me to tell you? He spoke to me. And he said, so you believe that you are going to bring God's people into blessings. That's what he was looking at me. Everybody say, give me this mountain. I feel sorry for believers who just sit down and believe that because of the connection they have, success will come. It won't work that way. The world is changing. It's changing fast. The earlier you know this, you stand your ground and you command victory. He said you will arise and shine for your light is come. Hallelujah. I shared with you about the man who came for miracle service here with HIV. How did he get the HIV? He was not promiscuous. When I saw him, I said, ah, this man is an elderly man and he's a gentleman. He said he was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him literally with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up in this realm with HIV. I want you to, listen, I'm not scaring you. I'm only opening your eyes. The Bible says, blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm upon my holy mountain. If you do not understand this, there is a rootless shock waiting for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Give me this mountain. When we finished, we finished the miracle service, I went home. Now, I'm not, see, don't get me wrong. I'm not the kind of person that sees demons behind everything. No, no, I'm an intelligent person. Are you listening to me? But I went home. The protocol department are here. They were there with me. As soon as I got home, I saw a bed inside our, inside our, the pavement. There is no human way a bed, even an, even a, maybe a snail can get to enter there. It was moving around. My neighbor saw it and quietly entered and locked her door. She said, Joshua Selma will come and handle it. Immediately I came out. I sensed in my spirit. It was counselor. Immediately I saw it, I looked. And I looked at it very well. I knew that this was not just... See, there are some realms that you are not creating any effect in the spirit. So you are not an issue for Satan. He's concentrating on those who are making things happen. So you think you are advancing spiritually. Because you think nothing is happening. I'm just praying five minutes and things are working. Keep rising. Just keep rising. A time, you will, come, a time will come when the effect becomes severe. And at that point you will notice that... It's not as funny as you think it is. I show you a mystery. So the Bible says, woe to them. When we talk about prayer, when we talk about staying in the word of God, for many of you, you don't see the need. You say, whether I pray or I don't pray, things happen for me. Continue. Continue. You have not created an effect. You throw a small stone. The ripple is just a little. But you carry a rock and throw it. Once that happens, the fishes inside start coming out. What is going on? Everybody say, give me this mountain. We're going to pray. Because tonight, you must define what you want to do with success. For you to ever arrive there. This is the same thing they will tell you when you go to a herbalist place. Are you hearing me? Imagine that you are in a herbalist shrine now. This is the exact question. They won't ask you how many books you have read. They will tell you, are you ready to come into fraternity? As far as they are concerned, that's the most important thing. You say yes. They say, all right. Prove to us that you will not fail us. That's the concept of covenants. You do different things to prove that you will stand. And then they open your eyes and once in a while they keep reminding you that they are around hallelujah do you know how the illuminati initiate people let me explain something to you wealthy people billionaires let me tell you how you get initiated you get you don't get initiated by going to a place you get initiated through your imagination what that means is if i want to initiate you into the illuminati you will stand you will close your eyes and i'll be initiating you this is how they initiate people. Close your eyes and now say, imagine a door. Now enter that door. 
there is something carry you will think it's just some spooky imagination then you'll find yourself there truly and you'll find the person who is imagined from there your imagination is useless they continue the ceremony these are not realms this is what job said he said this wisdom they went to the place of the dead hades he said uh -uh. they went to certain places do you know how many people travel in and out of this earth realm to come back with innovations and come back with things that create waves and many believers are just laughing say one more time give me this mountain Caleb said we went and spied it and I knew I was able to take it there were giants there somebody brought them there is that true brought them there let me tell you something. You will find these spirits in the labor market. Hear me. You will find these spirits in family life. You want to get married. You will find it on your job. When you enter and get the job, it's only one thing. You will find it again. There are people who have been in a place. They got the job. But they are in that position for donkey years. And you find out that these are the people who truly love God. Because the devil knows that every time they rise, they will create space for the agenda of God to find expression. Is that true? This is what the devil is afraid of. He's afraid of agents. Everybody say agents. Because when you rise in this mountain, God can find expression through a mortal vessel to save sinners. Are you listening to me? To fund the advancement of God's kingdom. Imagine that you have a company, you are a CEO of a company. You can legislate. 7 o'clock there is devotion. 7 to 7.30. Are you willing? No. Have a nice day. Are you listening to me? This is not the issue of being good or bad. This is the value. You place it. You say, why are you too spiritual? I say, that's exactly why we are successful. That is exactly why we are successful. Hmm. Wealthy people have little places in their offices. One place where nobody enters. They are the only ones. Is that true? As beautiful as their offices are, they must find some certain places. And once there is time, they don't care what kind of business deal. They say, Mr. Man, you are here because of what I'm doing. If I stop doing it, you won't come again. Excuse me. And you see many people just standing for hours. The man is not coming out. Later he says, I'm ready to see you. And they don't know what it is that happens. I bring to you the spiritual dimension of life life is more spiritual and that's why our theme for this year our year of supernatural exploits daniel eleven thirty two, 32 it says they that know their god so everybody knows their god everybody knows their god that's the secret of exploit he said they that know their god they shall be and they shall do exploits let me tell you you don't gather every week in koinonia just by magic or mistake if you think it's a mistake open a ministry just open it in front of social center where you are sure you will see people and find out whether somebody will come life is spiritual are you listening to me that's why every department in koinonia whether you are snapping or you are cleaning flour you take it spiritually is that true Many of you have kicked away the spiritual dimension of life, calling it fanatism. You have allowed secular humanism to bring you to a point where you feel when you apply these principles, you apply the law of attraction, it will just work. You apply... <laughs> Look, let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. Many have tried it before you. Learn from them. Don't learn from yourself. Learn from them. I saw my father go through things I could not understand. I've said this thing again and again. I saw my mother go through things. My sister had been looking for a job for years. I taught her this principle and prayed with her. It wasn't up to two weeks. They called her in Benway State that she has a job. I said, that's right. Give me this mountain. Now, devil of darkness. Give me this mountain. This is what some of you need to do for your loved ones. You have been handling the issue psychologically. You have been saying, see, you see, well, if not because of this, your third class. Ah, God would have helped you. You said people are doing something. You read fishery. Why didn't you at least try and add it with something? Yet you are hearing that a woman slept with a man. 
that has never seen the four walls of a university and they carry that made that the secretary she's the one who is interviewing you does it not let you see that life is spiritual see those who are waiting for god to do something stop wasting your time if you don't take charge of your life and destiny you may sit down there forever are you hearing what i'm saying take this message to your loved ones especially those in the labor market you want to get married things are not working anytime things go wrong get to the realm of the spirit and find out first you lose a lot of things see if you go to the realm of the spirit and you find out that things are in check then come back and find out the principles of life that are to make things work but first consult with the realm of the spirit this is the mistake with a lot of people the realm of the spirit is the last bus stop a particular woman wanted to see me she said kai they have problems where i say ah this guy is young i say see what this woman is saying if i am a consultant gynecologist and you have problem and i say i want to give you injection will you say ah you are young or you will turn let me give you the injection this is what this is the problem people have highest praise to the king highest praise to the king that devil over your destiny is a liar you will break forth you will break forth on every side you will break forth he said they that know their god they shall be strong say i know my god say it i know my god i am strong and i will do exploits say i know my god i can take this mountain yes i can take this mountain who told you you cannot do clean business until you compromise who told you you cannot get a job until you sleep with another man that is the language of Baal. i like you to uh, to see step into life with an understanding say satan you can fool people but i spent my fruitful years building i'm not just stepping into the labor market just like a graduate i'm stepping as an ambassador i have a character on myself i have a kingdom that i'm representing therefore open up unto me give me this mountain i tell you that mountain will open i'll show you a secret tonight in this mountain i show you a secret i show you a secret give me this mountain give me this mountain don't sit back there wondering why things are not moving you must contend in power when daniel was about to legislate hear me hear me listen daniel was about to legislate he said and i daniel understood by books the moment daniel found out that it had been written the captivity of the nation of israel from babylon he went to prayer he was consulting spiritually and things were happening he did not go listen listen he he never went to nebuchadnezzar or darius palace because that's not where things happen he went to a secret place when he began to pray he was praying there but from the palace those spiritual entities were saying who is forcing this gate to open and they began to move in human vessels and they said oh king listen what is it about prayer that will make people beg a king to set a law you now understand why they are kicking the ten commandments you now understand why they are doing a lot of things they want to cause every to close every door so that any man that will come can i tell you something the agenda of satan is that a time will come in this country even to get ten thousand naira you must bow to bear i tell you the truth it's happening it's just that some of you are still depending on your parents that's why you have not seen it in its full gravity a time will come even to collect salary you will bow but where are those uncompromising people the seven thousand under the custody of obediah who will not bow to bell we know our god we have been strengthened he has done mighty things in the past we will pay the price shout it give me this mountain shout it one more time give me this mountain lift your voice and begin to pray i will take the mountain of family 
I will take the mountain of the economy. Come on now. You know where God is sending you to. Lift your voice and pray. Things don't just happen. Things don't just happen. Life is spiritual. Life is governed spiritually. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Your success is tied to your spirituality. Your success is tied to your spirituality. They that know their God, only God can make principles work. They will not work independent of God. Every successful man has bowed to somebody somewhere. I tell you the truth. Every money, every money is blood money. Whether from the blood of human beings and demons or the blood of Jesus Christ, every success is spiritual. Give me this mountain. I will conquer. I will conquer. I take this mountain. I take this mountain without compromising. I take the mountain. I wore a good warfare with the prophecy. I wore a good warfare. I pay the price. Hallelujah. Shut up, Listen. Listen. If God has called you into the ministry of worship, that's the mountain that is waiting for you. You are going into the media, there is a mountain. You are going into business and finance. Finance concerns everybody. You heard it from the documentary. Let me tell you something. I want you to pray now and say, Lord, I'm not confused about my allegiance. I declare to you right now, money will not change me. Marriage will not change me. Lift your voice. I declare my allegiance. So tokete basha. Ma prokoto sekete. I'm not just a social being. I'm a spiritual being. Marriage will be an opportunity for you to find expression. Well, to be an opportunity to fund the activity of the kingdom. Come on, pray. Say, Lord, bless me. I will advance the kingdom. I will build ministries for you. I will fund the agenda of the kingdom. There's no pretending. There's no hiding. If you declare your allegiance, you will enter into this serious but undeniable success. Hear me. Hear me. Let me bring a word of comfort for some of us. There are many of us. Hear me. You have refused to compromise. Some of us, that's why you are paying the price. Rejoice. Because your salvation draweth nigh. Are you hearing me? Rejoice. Refuse to compromise. You make heaven proud when you stand. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. But those who know their God are strong people. hallelujah hear me other people are building their shops with blood money and demonic things but you come in the dignity of kingdom integrity it will cost you you will suffer but you hold on let your redeemer show up see let me tell you something hear me malachi chapter 4 prophesied about the recession he said a time will come 
the earth will burn like oven and all those who do it wickedly can i tell you something this thing you hear people announce about wealth transfer is not some human imagination it will happen but you must declare your fraternity this is the greatest secret i know of success success is spiritual i bring you a message of hope your certificate will only make meaning when your allegiance has been declared so the one you are ali the one you are standing by will back you he must you must have a godfather hallelujah hallelujah now you are going to pray all the mountains that you desire to open up to you hear me listen you are going to say i come in the name of the lord this is what happened when david was going to confront goliath he said you come to me with your bow and spheres he said but i come to you in the name of the lord god of israel when it was time for Elijah to destroy the prophets of Baal, he said, make 12 stones. He reminded God, make 12 stones. Regarding the 12 tribes of Israel, God's covenant nation. And he said, pour water. If God does not respect me, he will respect what is on the altar. Can I tell you something? Don't let anybody fool you. Life is spiritual. Right now, lift up your voice and begin to speak to the mountains you desire to open up to you. Come on now. They will share you. Mountain of family. Be open. Come on, pray. Mountain of finance. Be open. Be open. Mountain of media. Be open. Be open. I confront you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. I confront you in the name of the captain of the horse of Israel. In the name of Jesus, be open for the people of God. Nigerian labor market, be open. Be open. Be open for the people of God. Doors of marriage, be open for the people of God. We take this mountain. We take this mountain. Listen. 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 I have taught you a powerful secret. Keep it forever. You will produce mysterious success that no one will understand. See, see, this is what, hold on, this is what makes people criticize some of us because they cannot see where the addition is done. We don't come in the open to add one plus two plus three. Everything is established in the secret. And when people see the result, because it does not add up, people begin to criticize. You come for miracle service, you see people parked inside, outside, sitting on the fence. Where is the publicity material? Where did they get publicity from? I'm teaching you a mystery. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people paying thousands and thousands to be on air. I was sitting down praying. When CBN came and said they wanted to make a documentary on me. I've been in over maybe 70 channels around. I've not paid a cover for it. Look, 
when you settle things spiritually, no matter how long, you can start rejoicing even when anybody has not seen anything because you know, you know the powerhouse, you know where things are done. Hear me? Let me advise you. You want to apply for a job, don't just hear about an opportunity and carry your CV. Uh-uh. Kings don't rule like that. You know what to do. Carry your CV and lock yourself. Keto Pariata. Confront those mountains. Say, give me this mountain. They will call you. See, hear me. You've been praying. A husband has not come. A wife has not come. The first thing is find out what principles that have been put in the written word that you are violating. Once you get those things straight, go and lock yourself. The Bible tells us lock yourself and stay there and generate energy in the spirit. Can I tell you something? No matter how long it takes, light and darkness cannot stand. See, and when your victory comes, it is sustained because you know how it came. It's not trial and error. Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two, five minutes and we'll be done. You are going to pray for your neighbor. Neighbor, don't hold anybody who is not serious in this very critical moment of prayer. Listen. The Bible says, and if two of you shall agree, as touching anything if two hallelujah hallelujah now ask your neighbor in one minute what mountain is trusting God to bow just ask him and let him whisper it to you because and you don't keep quiet if it's marriage say marriage if it's business say business are you ready to pray now are you ready to pray now? In the next two minutes, I'd like you to pray like a warrior. Pray like a warrior. I agree with you. And we come in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Let genotype be changed. As as to AA, let mountains of delay give way. Jobs be open. Marriages be open. Business connections be open. 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 In the name of Jesus, admission be open. Riot results be open. Higher institutions be open. The labor market be open. We open you up. We confront powers. We confront powers. We challenge you in the name of the Lord through the greatness of the power of the Holy Ghost. You will bow. You will bow. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. 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 For many of you whose prayer life is down, you will be cheated in life. James 5.13. Don't open there. We're out of time. James 5.13. If you can give it to us from the Amplified. It says, is any of you afflicted? What is the remedy? Let him pray. It didn't say let him sing praise and worship. Or let him go ahead running. Is any of you afflicted, ill-treated, or suffering evil? What is the remedy? He should Say one more time, he should. Hear me. 
Listen, this is the biblical key to break through out of any situation. It's in the Bible. Listen, Job, in all of Job's affliction, he didn't pray. Are you hearing me? He discussed with wise men. He spoke with elders, but he did not pray. Give me Job 42 verse 10. The Bible says, and God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed. Not when he discussed. Many of you are talkatives. You run from pillar to post, telling everybody your problem who cannot help. So are you hearing me? He says, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job and restored his fortunes when he prayed. When he Jonah in all of those boys terror storm jonah didn't pray until he entered the belly of the fish he started praying and the fish brought him out i bring you a solution anything that has challenged you take time to pray with understanding and revelation the world that will stop you is not yet there a sickness is afflicting you pray generate energy in the spirit Many of us have not prayed for our lives. You've not prayed for the issue of life partner. You think it's a sign of desperation. Whereas it's because the devil knows that warriors are coming out of your children and will shake nations. It was because of Jesus Christ thousands of other children were killed. The devil can wipe a nation. The devil can throw the economy of a nation down because of one person may you be that one person that will threaten hell hallelujah let me agree with you and pray with you you will come back with testimonies see testimonies are not magic testimonies are a product of the open heavens that happens when demonic entities are displaced are you hearing me Testimonies are not magic. It's not an issue of trial or error. When the resistance stopping you gives way, you must have a testimony. And the prince of Persia stopped the prayers of Daniel, the answer, until Gabriel was sent. Meanwhile, Daniel was still praying. If he had stopped, it would look like God did answer his prayer. But he continued praying. He didn't know. Many of you hear me. You've been praying for three months four months you are about to stop you don't know what has been happening in the heavens for your sake gabriel said and i was with stool one and twenty days he said until michael came and he said i am come now to give you understanding pray until there is a manifestation satan can give up satan can give up see you are not trying to fight satan you are enforcing that which has been finished are you seeing so don't come in wondering will i win with no no christ has established it your job is to enforce it in your life let me pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for your people every door that has refused to answer to you under this anointing tonight in the name that is above every other name i command it to be open now in the name of jesus doors of marriage be open any barren woman in this place i command you to be a joyful mother of children any important man in this place i command you to be a father of many children anyone trusting God for a job we are agreeing here that the testimonies will start hearing from now till October miracle jobs undeniable inexplainable my God confirm it from now till October fearful stable jobs those of you trusting God for capital to start business Capital comes by favor, period. When it comes by favor, you build with wisdom. 
capital doesn't come by running around and begging. I pray that that favor will come to you. May you receive that favor. Anyone who is responsible for being a destiny helper in your life, I pray right now. Receive their ministry in the name of Jesus. See, let me announce to you. Any one of you trusting God for marriage, I'm saying it again. If God be God, I declare that before this year runs out, there will be supernatural, inexplainable, but undeniable marriages. Any affliction that is stopping anyone here under the sound of my voice whether HIV whether cancer I don't care what it is I command you to live right now I change SS genotype become AA now in the name of Jesus hallelujah everything that has affected your prayer lives I command that dry pole whatever affects your prayer life is killing you i command let your prayer altar come strong in the name of jesus whatever makes you to doubt the word of god you believe god here but once you go out you doubt i command may your faith be rooted in the name of jesus Your hands will command favor. You will go and do exploits. You will go and do exploits. Every hand against your destiny, I pull it down. Hear me? Any enchantment and any divination, any activity of witches and wizards and necromancers, I stand under this apostolic unction. And in the name that is above all names, I command their plans to be nullified in the name of Jesus. Wherever you come from in this country, north, east, south, or west, I confront the powers of darkness. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You? Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? Your name is Mama Embu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Embu? These are the Embu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. somebody can you collect the children these children are sick I see a plague of darkness upon their lives he's crying sorry oh boy are you seeing all these swellings on this child this child what you think is a skin infection but this is a demonic thing huh we must deal with it father you reveal this Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over in the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today, praying in tongues for hours. Mama, 
I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes. When I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside close to the gate would have noticed it if you check clearly but now so the pains are gone yes. completely gone if you press it no pains please come please come and sure press press her stomach very well any pain no please put your hands together for the lord celebrate jesus hallelujah celebrate jesus come on just give jesus a big big clap of praise <laughs> Wow, I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream. A man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when Apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm really... I'm really relieved. Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, therefore for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become one flesh but the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families but right now i said right now he said one more plague and pharaoh will let you go lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the Lord. 
it will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay. I open up your marital destiny now. In the name of Jesus. I open up your marital destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Shake it. Fire is burning in this place. Shake it. Make God to soto tete. Make break it. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay. Is over, over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity, and your life partner has not come. All men keep coming. Some of you is married men. Some of you, you just get all kinds of irresponsible men. They will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy. There are some of us, you are brothers, you are responsible people. Right now, I pray, every close marital door, standing for your family, standing for your children, every close marital door, right now, be open in the name of Jesus. 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 Fire, fire is falling. Fire is forcing doors to open up. Fire is forcing doors. Shake, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. fruit of the womb celebrate them as they come the lord who located you the lord who located you i want you to come rejoicing nine months you will come back with your child hallelujah come selena there was a story let me share this to encourage you hallelujah Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness let me tell you something the bible said children are a heritage from the lord i don't care what spell i don't care what the hospital is saying even if they say there is no womb that's nonsense the bible says who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not declared it hallelujah i'm going to pray mommy you will see the hand of god whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb it will give way you will return back with testimonies there's fire burning my hands and the lord instructs me to lay my hands on you please lay your hands on your stomach as i lay my hands on you the fire of god will burn off that nonsense hallelujah 
and as I pray for them a point of contact to many of you who know some people they have tried they have prayed nothing is working we have come to call that devil a liar tonight are you hearing me now in the name of Jesus womb be open right now womb be open now mommy return with your child return with your miracle baby baby girl baby girl look at me madam you are returning with a baby girl the name of jesus christ what the doctor said god is changing it within now and the next two weeks you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth let her go out now out this is i'm seeing a spirit holding her womb release her now now by the fire of the holy ghost madam let your womb be open return with your miracle children who again if you're standing for somebody miracle babies in the name of the lord jesus christ miracle babies return with your testimonies hallelujah madam go and return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house it has reached lintel level but nothing more again this has been for years who is that the lord is showing me something please come look at me look at me wait uh -uh. i will know if you are the one all of you look at me the power of god will come upon one person that is the person but i'm going to pray for you for coming out no problem don't worry even if you are seated i just want to minister directly all of you look at me lord you gave me a sign right now whoever that person is let the fire of god come in a mighty way now i use the remaining part of you as a point of contact every demonic thing keeping that building as i lay my hands on you i tell you finance will come from everywhere building projects building projects god is visiting in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies some of you before the end of the year before the end of the year the hand of the lord will bring resources come madam you came out for building but what god is going to do is more than building you are a very good woman hold on where is your child they are at home three things the lord is going to do before now and the end of the year wait madam let me tell you first number one there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two. Number two. This is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do? Yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you, this woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know, but you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? 
you are a sinner. You are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. will come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We will address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up, katapaladaba. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape, and the Lord says it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here look at how many people are coming for sickness you see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar welfare can i get a cup of water please so i can drink You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague and Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. See his glory. Celebrate for one minute. seat refuse to walk back to your seat with that sickness as I look at you the Lord is revealing people's cases I see ladies infections I see two more lump in the breast 
God is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face. Take it now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing HIV. I see a number of HIV here. Hepatitis. There are men here that have all some challenges. Low sperm counts, infertility, whatever kind of nonsense. Some of you have a woman here. I'm seeing palpitations. Sometimes you gasp for breath. Who is that person? You, madam, God is visiting you. You are not the only person. Please make sure you write a request. This is not a ritual. Hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before God. Hallelujah. Now, all you need, please, except if the, the ministers ask you what the situation is. Otherwise, just a touch. I tell you the truth. Just a touch. The worship team sang it. Just a touch. For some of you to be like magic. One moment is there. Another moment is gone. I'm seeing somebody that coughs. And you cough out sputum. Sometimes like blood. Your throat is dry. Sometimes you cough out blood. SS. I'm seeing a number of SS. People who need genotype change. I'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies. You don't have to remain where you are. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the great healer. As we pray for you, go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come. It's called a miracle service. Lord Jesus, you revealed mighty miracles to me. In the visions that you showed, let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of Jesus. Pastor Jakes, Pastor Williams. Now, we're going to pray. Please, let's pray ourselves. Someone take here. Someone take there. Jakes, you can start there. Pastor Williams here. As we lay hands on you, check. Do what you couldn't do. Return back if you need tests. Sorry, we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people. But then I want you to know you will return rejoicing. You will return rejoicing. Worship team, are you ready? You give us that song. Something's changing. Where is Sam? God is visiting men. The name of Jesus. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. As I pray for you. Heal. Take it now. Out of the Holy Ghost, kill whatever it is, kill now. Lumps in the breast, go, go, go. Lumps, go. Shakateka la batakata, reketeka. Go back and check yourself. Miracles are happening. Heal, Mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers direct them, please. Ushers direct them. Heal. As I lay hands on you, return testimonies. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Take it now. Now. Miracles are happening. Mighty miracles are happening. What's wrong? Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Please, if if the miracle is for a child, before they get there, leave the child so that they don't jump the child. Please. Hallelujah. Continue. Praise. Healed right now. Take it. 
visits you right now. Shekatabala da bakata de prekete shekete laba leave her right now. Thou foul devil. Shekataba katata by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving.
remember I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with the mental disorder, this is how she has returned. The Bible says he's confirmed the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I am not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. Go! No more madness. Sanity restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead.
of Egypt after that it shall let you go we are going to pray for the request now and then I will speak over your life already mighty things are happening some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there hallelujah please everybody stand up pastor Williams pastor Jakes okay he's still praying for them Ah, okay Please quickly, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please. While you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Thousands, 
of requests all over the country all around the world my God change stories Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come to order. Let this request change testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take the 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 Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel Now arise Oh Lord Would you come To your resting place You And the ark Of your might And let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. 
there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests have been answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before december i see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the lord is going after them You have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer request here and for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now in the name of jesus i speak to you i speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of god become testimonies and be delivered for god's people in the name of jesus hallelujah give god thanks it is done hallelujah now listen i always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service he sent forth his word i'm about to prophesy right now i feel like a mantle coming on my head please everybody stand please everybody stand believe in the lord and you shall be established believe ye his prophets and you shall prosper Please lift your hands, everybody. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost 
right now it lives your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay, at the count of three, yokes, and causes of delay because one two three go 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 hallelujah hallelujah hear me hear me any altar of darkness hear me i don't care where it's coming from that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now shake it, it, it. catch fire catch fire now every altar secrete every altar catch fire catch fire now every altar against any family catch fire now hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for disfavor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members 
I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We are hurrying up. We are out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you. It's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Shake it, take it, take it. Be lifted now. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life, whether for you or for your loved ones right now I pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and I pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you I don't care family problems God is visiting them now every family problem because God marked this miracle service for families every problem Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads 
of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released I command peace I command prosperity I command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of lazarus and lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family i stand under this unction of god and i pray whatever is dead i command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it. Take it. Take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says, That oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Hallelujah. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never ever be the same. You will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid. Hallelujah. Now listen to me, inside and outside, please remain standing everybody. Many of you have come, you have heard the word of the Lord, you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst. And I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ. The Bible says, they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens, and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore. I want to pray for you right now. You have struggled, Jesus Christ can give you rest. Both in this life 
and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to jesus some of you have given your heart to the lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what they have us tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus I am a sinner, unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice, and I come to you. Save me. Help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again. The Spirit of God is at work in me. My sins are forgiven. I am a brand new man. Satan, I denounce you and all your works. From today, I am a child of God. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Father, preserve these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let their salvation be genuine. Preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of sin over your life. I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you. In the name of Jesus, you are free. I declare you saved by the word of God. Begin a new Christian experience. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now congratulations I salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia 
They are coming. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Mommy, thank you. My mommy is here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please join us quickly. If you are coming from outside, join us quickly. This is the koinonia you've heard about. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things in our midst. We're here every Friday. This was a special venue. Our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you have bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ELI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, coach. shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Every chain. Yeah. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go out of her now. There's an army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you. Go. 
go, 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 go. Out. showing me a very big fish like a whale this is what I'm seeing to break every chain break every chain now at the count of three you are leaving this lady never to return you know my voice one two three go go right now out of her out of her now lay your hands on her back out now now you're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost madam Please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look wait now. Just let me know. It's you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she do? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We're going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! Out! 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost! She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. 
They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope tonight. Hold my hands, mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. Please come. Look at me. Look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Wait now. Calm down. Hold my hands. Since when? Hold my hands. Now devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit. Out of her right now. is revealing something to me it goes right now take her back to her seat and keep checking her I'm seeing a woman they diagnose you of fibroid please let's hurry up you came here it's part of your prayer your list not a young lady a woman we need to end it right now we need to end it right now a dark woman you are putting her tie her tie her tie, her tie, her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her! Now! You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You're going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you and you are living. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. can a young man like this be so oppressed please lay your hands on him let me pray for him now let him go now the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see many of you let me explain to you what is happening it is not about the people some of them is the families that they represent this is the whole family being set free it's not even about the person are you hearing what i'm saying
The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? July, it's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But you didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they did they try to work on it for you? And it has if you cannot walk without this thing completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you with all your heart? This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Really. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The fracture is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down and lift it up. Put it down and lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Look at the power of the Holy. You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is? Who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We'll verify them and have some. Ah, Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. Name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. Not just you, your family. Hold my hands. Both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama. Where is your first son? the picture I, I'm seeing where is he what is he doing nothing is moving in this family we must break the hands of that huh? who has a child in your family my third he fell he, a child, I'm seeing a child. Uh, third, but my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray because okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. Having, my second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? 
The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now, out. Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands, please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jake, sir. Um, well, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jakes will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Rekete kata balarabosh, mambreto so preketa. Shake the preke de balaraba. Hallelujah. Please, any miracle right now, Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command ulcer. Some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Ulcer, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, also be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Sheketetetetetetete. Seketetete. Makaprekete lekota saba. Now check yourself. Check yourself, check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle, just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt, a female usher. 
as soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Shekete-te-te-te-te. Rekete-kotopata. Sobrekete-te-te-te-te-te. Ekrete-kata-baladabash. Rakata-baladabash. Out of her. Come out. Out right now. Shekete-te-te-te-te-te-te. Shekete-te-te-te-te-te-te-te. Rekete-te-te-te-te. Take it, take it. The name of the Lord Jesus. Name of the Lord Jesus. Seka prosko pregede bash. Seka teke 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 te. Reke te 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 te. La paka paka tabla ka teke tabala naba. I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You? Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? Your name is Mama Embu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Embu? These are the Embu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over. Right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes. When I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, would not have noticed it if you check clearly. But now... So the pins are gone. Completely gone. If you press it, no pain. Please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow, I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her and forcing her to eat. And since when apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm feeling relieved. <coughs> Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become one flesh but the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families but right now i said right now he said one more plague and pharaoh will let you go lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the Lord. It will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay i open up your marital destiny now in the name of jesus i open up your marital destiny by the fire of the holy ghost i release you fire is burning in this place shakete mekoto soto tete makeprekete Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity 
and your life partner has not come all men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 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 fire fire is falling fire is forcing doors to open up fire is forcing doors Shake, 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 Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selena. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands and the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me now in the name of jesus womb be open right now womb be open now mommy return with your child return with your miracle baby baby girl baby girl look at me madam you are returning with a baby girl the name of jesus christ what the doctor said god is changing it within now and the next two weeks you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth let her go out now out this is i'm seeing a spirit holding her womb release her now now by the fire of the holy ghost shake it Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just stand. 
miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ miracle babies return with your testimonies hallelujah madam go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house it has reached Lintel level but nothing more again this has been for years who is that the Lord is showing me something please come look at me look at me wait uh -uh. I will know if you are the one all of you look at me the power of God will come upon one person that is the person but I'm going to pray for you for coming out no problem don't worry even if you are seated I just want to minister directly all of you look at me Lord you gave me a sign right now whoever that person is let the fire of God come in a mighty way now I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact every demonic thing keeping that building as I lay my hands on you I tell you finance will come from everywhere shake it take Maka protoko te brasha, mate kretos kopre, reke te kete, reke proso prosh, reka tabali kapos, ma preke telekos, mam protos kopre kete, ko shata lakata preke de balarabash, rakata preke te, building projects, building projects, God is visiting in the name of Jesus, supernatural testimonies, some of you before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family I've not even touched financial issues number two number two this is what is going to happen what do you do what do you do yo? I'm a teacher you are a teacher I see a lot of favor I see you this woman is a very good woman very good she say amen a very good woman you can know you are good some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You are a businessman. You do not even know. But you are a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We will come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We will address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you.
Wow. Sheba kata bala dabakata. Mambreto so pretisha. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't do Hold my hands. Hold my hands. With both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a, is a, is a, is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.